Well, just because humans need to reproduce sexually doesn't mean that all other organisms in the world need to do this as well. This is called asexual reproduction. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye. Brought to you by Sam and Jane. Actually, screw Jane. We only need Sam to reproduce asexually. To reproduce asexually, you don't only have one option. In fact, I can think of three at the top of my head right now. Binary vision, budding, and vegetative reproduction. If you look into this microscope, you will actually see the bacteria splitting into two separate, identical copies of the original organism. This is what we call binary fission. Did you know that? Asexual reproduction can be produced much quicker than sexual reproduction. Female Komodo dragons can produce asexually when no available male is there for sexual reproduction. Now you know! You see, binary fission is actually Bill, a- Bill, I did the experiment you wanted me to do. Can I have some food now? I've told you before, my name is Alfred. And no, you can't have food. In fact, I'm depriving you of food and water privileges for nine days. I just want to go home. That's it. Get back to your corner. Now please, consider the following. For our next experiment, we have our vegetative reproduction plant of science. Uh, Bill? Yeah, big buddy? I don't think you can call it the plant of science. Oh, I can. Because my word is law. Anyways, as you can see here, only one plant will be involved and the offspring will be the result of the parent. Now, if we're talking with humans, they would look the same, but the personality would be quite different. Now, we need to give it some time to grow, so if you don't mind, we need to give it some privacy. Feels so good. Lying here next to me. Only one plant is involved, and the offspring is the result of the parent. It's genetically identical to the parent. Isn't that cool? It's science! You see, I use sound effects as comedic relief, and to compensate for the amount of information that I'm actually throwing at you. <laughs> Asexual reproduction has so many advantages, like they don't have to spend all the time and money looking for a mate. They also reproduce much quicker than humans. Now, budding is a form of asexual. God damn it, Joseph! How many times have I told you? You do experiments for me, and I give you clean food and water. Now get the hell out of here! So, budding is a form of asexual reproduction in which the organism divides because of cell division. In other words, Another it would be growing off of it until it reached its full size, and then it would break off of him. I can't even believe what I'm doing. Science is so freaking hard. Yo, Miss McKay, I know you don't like the songs, but I'm about to drop the bass in lesson three, two, one. Well, that's the end of our show. If you'll excuse me, I have to abruptly run away now, pretending like I'm gonna go do an activity that we just learned about. See ya! Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. 
Joseph, where's my lube? <laughs>